today we will do our first homework and uh, we will use modflow 5 first we need to create new model and in desktop we can do it here a new model new folder uh, homework homework one Good. and after we have to determine our mesh size uh, it can be layer one it can be more it, it's up to you and also the size of your model again it's up to you it can be bigger and smaller or medium for example i will do my model uh, 50 it means the counts number and row number is 40 and the cell size i choose 10 and 10 it means I have uh, 500 horizontal lengths and 400 um, vertical lengths of my uh, model. So I do OK. And if we want to increase our mesh size for this, uh, for example, x0 and y0, it means um, this part, uh, x, x0 this part y0 this part so as you see here uh, y0 uh, is 400 it's my vertical length and here is x1 y1 is again this part this part which is 0 0 and x2 and y2 is this part so if you want to increase uh, for example we can not change this part this part we have to decrease it this number because if we decrease this number our model will be uh, bigger you will see and it will be bigger if we choose a high value for example if we choose 1500 and 1200 it will be very small so we need to do the big size for this I will do 500 and 400 okay so I saved my model yes and for next step layer type layer type I will choose uh, unconfined because in our task say our aquifer is unconfined and as well as said here our aquifer is sand gravel or gravel sand aquifer and we'll use this uh, things in to determine the horizontal vertical and hydro conductivity and effective porosity which they should be coherent each other and okay and next is boundary types uh, we will write here minus one and we'll do this we have to choose this one and we will do like this uh -huh. and okay it means we have flow from here from here from here and from here this is unconfined aquifer um, and saved top of layers if you want to determine your top of layers uh, it's up to you your model can be higher than the sea level and also it can be lower than sea level it's up to you for example if you write here uh, positive value it means your model is high, higher than the sea level if you write for example zero it will be your model the same with um, sea level I will write the zero I don't change and yes bottom of layers I choose the bottom of layers minus 20 minus 20 so it means also my model thickness is 20 and saved again this one and we go to time we always use day because we will work with days and okay and initial hydraulic head Initial hydraulic head, we have to determine uh, in our task, say, uh, the thickness of the aquifer is also up to student, but at least 2 per 3 of the aquifer must be saturated. So we have 20, minus 20, we have 20 thickness of our model, and our water level will be minus 15. It means our water level is, uh, for example, here. 